episode switches perspective from our central trio of Charles, Oliver, and Mabel to Theo Demas. John pitched me the episode as this silent episode entirely from the point of view of the deaf character. One of the things we were really adamant about was this is not just a gimmick. The person driving the episode is a central emotional component of the overall season. I had the great privilege of meeting James Caverly, who plays Theo early on in prep. And it was great to meet him because he asked me some great questions. And one of those questions was, how will the deaf audience know the difference between Theo's storyline and the storyline of the hearing characters? It started to inform the way in which I wanted to shoot the episode. We did a lot of uh, point of view shots and we were really, really committed to whatever Theo sees, that's what we're shooting. We're really grounding it in his subjective point of view. My favorite scene is the crux of the episode where Theo and Zoe are on the rooftop. This is the moment that we've been waiting for the entire series where we get to finally find out what happened 10 years ago. I just felt stunned by the level of performance from Olivia and James. Working with James was so much fun in a way I've never experienced before. We met on Zoom for some rehearsal because I had realized that I wouldn't know what my cues were because his lines were also in sign. Nathan and Olivia learned ASL for this and did such a remarkable job. It's uh, very challenging, but Doug coached me through the whole thing. And of course, James Caverly was very supportive of me trying to speak his language. He's an extraordinary young actor. His ability to do something that was very difficult and very emotional, take after take after take. I was so proud of him. It was just one of those moments where you get goosebumps and remember how much you love your job because you're like the first audience of something. As an Arab American woman, I feel like so much of my career has been about representing the underrepresented. And to be able to do that now in the deaf community, I just was so honored. I think it opens up a broader world for what we expect from television. I think the bar is being raised because we're seeing that this works really, really well.